What kind of legacy do you think your grandfather has left? Um, I think um, he's always going to be remembered as a great man. Uh, I, I personally uh, don't believe in idolizing anyone. I don't think any human being should be deified. Uh, he was a great man. He was certainly the most selfless man uh, in Chinese history. He did not ever, he didn't ever do anything for his own good um, that anybody could find. I mean, there are hundreds of thousands of historians doing research on him, uh, especially uh, on both sides of the straits, so both in Taiwan and in China. And of course, it was um, with China opening up Get started with that. With with China opening up uh, in uh, the 1970s, uh, they resurrected my grandfather in China because prior to that they sort of forgot about him. They never negated him like they have uh, Chiang Kai-shek, but they never brought him, uh, put him in the school books like you know they they deified Mao Zedong. They're deifying everybody, and and I don't think that's right. Everybody is a human being. Everybody has good traits and bad, I mean, not everybody. All leaders, all famous leaders, well-known leaders are also human beings. And they, uh, sometimes they do things right, sometimes they make a mistake. And it's human. And I think those should be accepted. I don't think, um, Anyway, back to my grandfather. I think he's a great man <laughs> because he, he was not selfish. At all times, he did preach. He had the people's interests at heart, which, uh, uh, you know, that's why history uh, is still uh, respects him so much because he, who, in their right mind, after winning a revolution, which he spent all his life, devoted his whole life to, and then would come and cede the presidency of the republic he founded to another man because it was for the good of the country. I mean, everybody else would fight tooth and nail and, and you know, uh, he was just a great man. He really did everything for the people, uh, the Chinese people, that his great love was to elevate the well-being of the Chinese people and, and uh, uh, everything he did. And he was a great uh, visionary because even now I have people telling me, you know, like um, ports that they're developing. They said, oh, that was in your grandfather's, you know, Tian Guo Da Gang, you know, the, the reconstructing China. And the railroad they're building, this was in his plan, you know. And even s somebody recently told me that um, the uh, Three Gorges down with all the modern computers and everything, they calculated that the hydropower that would be produced by the Three Gorges Dam was very close to the figure that my grandfather did in his calculations because he, you know, said that if it dammed up, this, this much hydropower could be produced. So that's pretty good, you know. He, he really was a, an extremely uh, gifted man.